And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again, another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media and always providing you the timely truth centered around real estate, credit, finance, estate plans, tax plans, so much more. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show and our number one goals are to educate, entertain, enlighten, and we want to make sure that we engage with you so we can help you win. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Save our hotline number in your phone, 813-670-7372. You used to call me on my cell phone. 813-670-7372. That's our consumer advocate hotline. Give us a call. Shoot us a text message. Um, however, however you would prefer. Uh, you can also hit us up on the website, consumerqb.com. A plethora of information available on our website, consumerqb.com. We're number one consumer advocate here. Six years running now uh, on air in the Tampa Bay market, helping you win and helping you avoid a lot of the commission-based advice that's so prevalent in our communities. Back in studio, the Snoop Dogs in the house, Jay Smith, a Snoop Inspections. Welcome in, sir. Oh, doing well. How are you doing there, Brandon? Yeah, man. Yeah, things are good. Kicking off the new year, back in the swing. First show, first day in studio in like two or three weeks, man. man. Well, I figured you might be sad today with the football, college football season being over. Yeah, you know, if I had a minute to watch it anymore. <laughs> like I, it's This is my first year. I've never watched national. I didn't watch the national championship game. Just man, working. I, I had my head down working and we're like moving man. listings to Keller Williams and all this uh, stuff. And that's, that's terrible. It is. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> Next year. Who would have thought? We'll go hit a couple games. We didn't do that this year. Man, you know, I went to one or two. That's about it. Yeah. Connor Keller in studio as well. Welcome in, sir. Hey, Brandon. InsectIQ.com. I tell you what. InsectIQ.com. If today gets any better, I'm going to have to do it all over again tomorrow. Yeah, so, there yeah. you go. There you go. It's good yeah, day. man. Yeah, it's awesome. A lot of good stuff. So, you know, I thought maybe kind of we opened up a little bit of, of, you know, first show in 2019 together. You know, what do you guys see happening with the market? What do you, where do you think we're going to go this year? A uh, lot of uncertainty still, you know, within the market of uh, everything from the border wall, shutdowns. You know, we don't go political on this show, but uh, there's a lot of things happening. And, and, you know, we're still in the best place to be uh, Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater, Bradenton, Sarasota. I mean, all these great areas to live in. Palm Harbor. I mean, a lot of great places uh, in Tampa Bay. So maybe maybe kick it off a little bit with, uh, you know, what you see happening or what, what you see we're going to be doing this year. Um, you know, in, in 2019, what, what's going on with the construction side, specifically with UJ? What do you think happening on this construction? And, you know, just kind of open it up to conversation. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm even doing another new construction in Epperson. I'm getting ready to start that, one of the bigger homes up there. Um, of course, I'm sure people are familiar with Epperson Ranch and the Crystal Lagoons and that type of community. And they've broken ground on the one in Wamama. Mm. I mean, there's another, you know, lagoon that's going in down there. So what technically is a lagoon? Um, man-made large, it's really still a man-made large swimming pool. Basically like that, right? Mm -hmm. they, they, they've got, um, what's the bottom made of? Is it? Uh, honestly, I'm not like sure about the lagoon. Bottom? So I think it's probably a sand bottom, but it's acres. I mean, it's not like Huge. it's a, you know, just a big Olympic sized pool. It's acres of pool. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And there's no fear of snakes or alligators in those. No, nah, I mean, it's crystal clear water. So if anything even gets in there, I'm sure they're going to have personnel that are keeping an eye on things. Right. Just in case. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. These lagoon style communities that are uh, popping up and around. And, and of course, the one Epperson Ranch, that's the first one in the U.S. Wow. Yeah, that's really cool. You know, there's several more that are being built here in Florida, uh, some in Texas, uh, Vegas. I mean, that's the three main areas that I've heard about that they're, they've got lagoons under construction in all three um, cities. It makes sense as a developer, if you come in and you buy a big plot of land, you know, you're dealing with a land bank at that point, you've got all mm -hmm. these huge acreages of land. So you assemble this land, you come in, you make a nice center point of a, a lagoon, mm -hmm. and then all that, now you're increasing all that waterfront value, water view values of all your single family homes. Maybe you're building townhouses too. Uh, just think about the development play and, and the long-term vision that people have. Well, it's one huge amenity. Mm -hmm. And you could, you know, you've got sports to where if you wanted to paddleboard, little sunfish type of uh, sail, you could be out there doing those. Um, the restaurant that's going to be on the lagoon, uh, each one of them is probably going to have a, a nice restaurant that's going to be right there. So there's a lot of interesting things 
So yeah. you're inspecting these some of these properties or getting involved with them? Yeah, it's all new construction. Of course, they haven't been around long, so we're we're double checking um, even during the construction. It may be something you want us to go in and check the foundation before they've poured the foundation and do a pre drywall inspection before they're putting the drywall up, and even a final inspection before they're doing their final walkthrough for their purchase of the home. Right. Yeah, that's that's important to make sure you're doing those those types of things. Let me take it over to Connor now. So Connor, same question to you. You know, like this year, 2019, a lot of a lot of optimism in the in the market, optimism in the market, um, a lot of challenges potentially as well that could be faced. Uh, but uh, what, what's your outtake here? Well, I want to talk about my own little microcosm. You know, our business, uh, Insect IQ in Tampa Bay, and and what our plans are this year. I mm -hmm. think that you know that's what hits home most to me and yeah. uh we're looking at hiring two new employees bringing on buying two new trucks nice um we're projected to grow you know have a record year of growth um really over the last seven years even and since i've been involved with this company seven or eight years we've continued to grow every year i mean it's almost been a recession proof uh you know downturn proof business and right. albeit it's pest control in florida you know there's right. it's a subtropical environment it's also that we've diversified and looked for other opportunities and not just kind of sat back on our haunches and and stick to what we know um, i like to really get out there and look for opportunities and and learn new things and and get involved with new uh, businesses new associations uh new people and just try to grow what we're doing so to yeah. answer your question we're geared up to grow, um, but do it in a responsible way, um, pinch pennies, maximize our profits. And, and we look to be, you know, our best year ever is 2019. Nice. Now, when you say diversify, are you, is that where you're saying, hey, you know, I've got the honey business, honey bee side, right? I've got the termite and pest control. I'm also handling small animals and rodents. Correct. Yeah. Okay. We started as a stinging insect removal company back in 1996. Uh, Jonathan Simpkin started the company as the president and CEO. Uh, he's a graduate entomologist from the University of Florida, went into the pest control business. And, and really, you know, there's four or five hundred pest control companies in the Tampa Bay area. I mean, it's crazy yeah. how many competitive the competitions out there. Yep. So we looked for a niche or he looked for kind of carved off a little segment of the business that nobody else was doing. We right. got into honeybee removals, yellow jackets, you know, stinging insects. Now, 15 years later, it was about a quarter million dollar business when I got involved, which is pretty good for a small family company, you know, uh, startup. No, we didn't buy another sure. company. We started this from nothing. Right. And in the last five years, we've grown to almost a million, a little over a million dollar a year company. So nice. that's, and by doing that, what we started doing is, is looking at pest control, residential and uh, commercial services, termite, fumigations. Um, taking that existing database we had and marketing to them uh, to, to provide these other services, it right. became a premier full service uh, pest control company in Florida. I like it. Yeah. So Connor Keller to my left here, insectiq.com, uh, Jay Smith uh, to my right, we're talking about a snoop inspection. So one of the things you both agree on as a Jay, you're a, um, a highly respected home inspector in the Tampa Bay area. Connor, uh, we just talked about your specialties. Um, you agree with having the two, you both agree with having the two separated. Absolutely. Um, a home inspector's out on a house, on, on an average size house that we're just talking about, two and a half, three hours doing an inspection. Now, if you want to add doing the pest inspection also, that's a whole different ball game. And you're, a couple hours, and, and you're yeah. already worn out from being out there looking over everything else. So if you're not paying attention 100%, it's easy to miss something as far as insect. And, and in, I'm sure the one we're most all worried about is the termite. You don't want to miss something like that during an inspection. Right. Yeah, that's important. And, it, and especially, you know, when you look at a lot of times, it, most of the homes too, like, like in Tampa Bay, you know, the properties that are over, you know, eight to 12 years, there's going to be some significant opportunities for infestation uh, and for, you know, on the other side of uh, potential issues that are going to cost that homeowner. So if something gets overlooked, uh, not only is it bad for the homeowner, it's bad for the insurance policies involved and the businesses involved. Yep. So you're absolutely a, correct. I mean, that's the thing. And we don't want to miss anything um, during the inspection. But if you just keep adding on and adding on and adding on, for a, a single guy out there doing the inspection, just going to be too much. Yeah. Yeah. It gets into too much and into the expertise gets watered down to a certain extent, Connor. Yeah. I call it inspection fatigue. You know, I mean, right. you're, you're out there, you're looking at everything you're going, I mean, our, our inspections are very similar. We're looking at different things, but we're often on the property at the same time. 
you know, the realtor meets the home inspector or the termite inspector and it's one appointment. So we kind of familiarize and I, I see what they do. They see what I do, but it, there's so much uh, specialized items in those inspections to try to do all of it. It's too much. Yeah. And if you talk, you know, he mentioned three, five, three to five hours for home inspection. You're talking at least two hours for a good termite inspection. That's five hours of inspecting. And, you know, after that third or fourth hour, you're either going to have to take a break and continue to do a good inspection, or it's just too much to try to do at once. Yeah. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. And, 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 and ahead, the Jay. thing of it is, it's the second set of eyes. I mean, it's just mm -hmm. not the one inspector. Now you got two. And I know most of the pest inspectors that I come across out there in the field will say things to each other say, Hey, right. did you see this over in this corner? Did you see that up in the attic, mm. um, in the garage over there in that corner? Did you check that out? I mean, you really do get information from both of you. And it may have been something one would have missed, and now you've got a second set of eyes on it. Right. Yeah, it's important. All right, stay with us right here at Consumer Quarterback Show. More from our expert contributors. We've got Jay Smith uh, in studio, Connor Keller as well. And our feel-good story of the day is a good one. Couple returns diaper bag filled with family's life savings. Find out about these two good Samaritans right here on our Consumer Quarterback Show. We'll be right back after this short, short break. Don't go anywhere. Hey, this is Jarek Robbins. You are listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show with Brandon Rimes. Please do what it takes to learn all that you have to to live the life you want to live. Live it fully and find a way to give it by paying it forward to others. Get in touch with Brandon online at ConsumerQB.com. I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at consumerqb.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813 670 7372. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here. I'm your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show and also the owner of the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams. Real excited about our move over to Keller Williams here uh, over the last uh, couple of weeks. Been working on that, moving 35, 40 listings over, moving some, uh, our agent team over 
uh, underneath the uh, Keller Williams umbrella. So we're real excited about that. A lot of cool things happening. And I uh, got a couple of hot listings I want to let you know about. Uh, this one's 109 18th Avenue South over in St. Petersburg. It's the uh, zip code is 33705 and it's just short of downtown, real close there. Uh, eight bedrooms, four baths. You've got a two separate properties here. You've got an in-law apartment that has three bedrooms, one bath, and you also have five bedrooms, three baths, and the other. Now, this one uh, falls under the thousand foot rule. So if you're in the business, you understand what the thousand football foot rule means. Uh, and it's dealing with... Um, you know, no alcohol around a thousand feet within that uh, proximity of that building. And what's interesting too, is it's kind of grandfathered in as a halfway house. So people that are kind of coming out of jail system, the, the systems there. Uh, so it's an interesting real estate investment opportunity and you can demand high rents for this property. 109 18th Avenue South, St. Petersburg. And I want to take you over to the beach. This one's a hot property listing, million dollar listing on the beach, 1370 Gulf Boulevard, unit number 401, Clearwater Beach. It's a Bella Rosa condo, three bedrooms, three bath, uh, gorgeous, right on the beach. We actually featured this one in our uh, episode of the American Dream television show uh, last month, and it's a gorgeous waterfront property, beachfront property at $1.12 million, just reduced Check out PlatinumMVPRealty.com. This segment is brought to you by Brothers Easy Moving, the official moving partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show is Brothers Easy Moving. And they strive to be the very best uh, movers in Tampa Bay by exceeding your expectations from the first phone call to the final customer courtesy call. And they are among the uh, best reviewed Tampa movers, including Google, where they hold a 4.6 rating, uh, one of the highest in Tampa Bay area. They also have an A rating from the Better Business Bureau, A rating on Angie's List, and a 4.5 rating on Yelp. So Brothers Easy Moving. I personally know the owner, Gary, and he is a great guy, stand-up guy. They do the right thing. Brothers Easy Moving, the official moving partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, back here in the studio, we got Jay Smith, A Snoop Inspections, uh, the Snoop Dog. Uh, Keller, Connor Keller here as well, insectiq.com, uh, very well versed in honeybees uh, removal as well as stinging insects, uh, termite pest control, uh, rodents as well. So um, let's go back to Jay here. So Jay, I wanted to ask you, you know, with with home inspections, you know, you're doing all types of different home inspections. Um, let's go into, you know, first time buyers, some of the common things that we see. Well, first time buyers, I mean, they, they're a little bit more stringent on the house that they're buying. They can't buy a house that the roof is getting too close to being at the end of the life. Um, definitely can't be any rot that's around the house. And that's something that both myself and Connor would be looking at um, if whether water's doing it or insects are doing some damage to the wood around the house, it's going to be a problem that needs to be addressed for a first time home buyer. Um, and plus the other thing that we try to do for first time home buyers, we love for them to be at the inspection. Uh, they don't have to be there the entire time if they want to be there the last hour, but we want to walk them through the house and show them some of the maintenance items they should be keeping up with and things that they're going to consider maybe putting on their remodel list that isn't in bad shape today. It's functional, but it's something that they're going to want to consider replacing in the next few years of being in the home. Mm -hmm. And a lot of your first time home buyers aren't familiar with what they have to do. I mean, hopefully they've got some, some good help around them, whether it's parents or something like that, but being a first time home buyer, they may be new to the whole experience of owning a home. Yeah. So we want to make that transition as easy as possible. Yeah, absolutely. It's the, uh, you know, the roof, you know, the no rot, like, a, you know, even as an agent, sometimes you think, man, you, you're kind of questioning, will that pass? Will that uh, what type of loan will that go for? You yeah. know, FHA, VA uh, are going to be more stringent. Conventional is going to be a little bit more lenient. Absolutely. And probably, you know, hopefully the agent has a feel for the seller on what they may be willing to repair and what they're not going to repair. Mm -hmm. I mean, if the within the contract you're saying, well, there could be up to $1,500 of repairs done that you want done, you know, hopefully that will cover everything that's needed to really pass for the FHA. Right. Um you know, older ACs. I mean, uh, someone doesn't realize that they're moving into a house. That's not a $500 fix. It's a $5,000 plus fix if you have to replace the system. And we're trying to make sure that they're prepared for these, these items that are coming up on these homes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot to think about, especially, you know, as a, you know, first time buyer, they're, they're, not, this is the first time they're tackling these types of questions mm -hmm. and, and even, you know, maintenance issues of how to, how to operate a property. Um, that's what I like about your style, man. You're able to help them with that. Uh, you, you give them the ideas. You kind of go through the different components of the home, 
Um, so you got the plumbing, the electrical, the AC, and the roof. That's your four point mm -hmm. inspection, and uh, I, I suggest that for almost everyone. And here we are again. You know, another idea is uh, 2019 just started. Let's get your four point done, no matter what the position of your home. Unless it, what would you say if it's older than four, five, six years? Get a four point done. Check it out. Um, well, you don't need the four point for insurance until you hit uh, 30 years old. But not the same thing. We're hearing different things about millennials that they're they're not as handy around the house. Mm -hmm. It may be something even even on a 10 year old house that they want someone to come in and explain things to them. Mm -hmm. And I've actually had those phone calls come in. It's like we just want you to come check things out. Give us an idea. I've done houses that are only 10 years old that they're even getting concerned on how the construction was. Are they running into more and more problems? Maybe it wasn't as well built as it should have been right. in 2008. Yeah. Um, so those things are coming about. We're seeing more and more. Uh, and I don't mind. I mean, I'm always there for my clients after the sale. I mean, if they move in and want to do a new project on the back of the house, I always tell my clients, call me up. If you yeah. got a question about the contracting end of things, you want to add an addition in two years, I'm still available. I'm, I'm all about some free advice. Yeah, that's great because it, you know, it helps it helps them understand and give them peace of mind. And then from your perspective, you know, it kind of keeps you in touch with your database. Exactly. And, you know, not to say anything, I'm still looking for their brother that might be buying a house. Right. Mom and dad are transitioning and they're either downsizing or just moving to the area. You know, it's a good time to even talk about people say, hey, you got some friends coming in town. That's right. So uh, Jay Smith, A Snoop Inspections, um, check them out as well. And so when it comes to um let's flip sides now so we're not so kind of same questions to you connor you know you're you're dealing with first-time buyers you're dealing with all types of different people uh what's your approach well um a lot of listening questioning and mm -hmm. listening qualifying the customer you know, what their needs are the same thing that he's talking about basically uh you know, every customer is different dealing with millennials is not going to be the same as dealing with a retired couple not only do you talk to them and handle them differently but you communicate with them differently uh, millennials, they, they really don't use the phone. They don't want to pick up a phone and talk and have a conversation. It's right. either in person or you could text them the, the inspection results, you know, yeah. along those lines. Whereas a retired couple really want you to meet face and face and talk about the deep face to face and talk about the details and, uh, you know, kind of go everything. They don't, they don't want to do any business on the computer or, uh, via text or, you know, it's, it's more old fashioned mail me a copy of the estimate or yeah. mail me a copy of the inspection. So, um, you know, getting into the inspection itself, the inspection, as far as I'm concerned, the termite inspection is the same. It's the way that you present the evidence. And then um, based on the customer's needs, uh, making recommendations, whether they need a treatment, whether preventative or corrective, a lot of times we'll find other issues during termite inspections. We'll find evidence of rodents in the attic or an animal that's digging underneath the slab. I've even found honeybees, believe it or not, hmm. um, especially a few years ago when you had uh, a lot of foreclosed homes. Yes. I did a lot of uh, VA inspections and um, we were finding just all sorts of crazy stuff. We could probably spend the rest of the afternoon of, of discussing things I would find in abandoned or foreclosed houses, uh, even huge honeybee colonies. I mean, real quick, I walked into a house to do an inspection and, and literally half the living room was a honeybee colony. Wow. Because it hadn't been inspected in a year, had a broken window and it was just huge. I, What's I, the biggest one you found? Well, um, honeybees, probably a couple hundred pounds, you know, wow. I weigh the honeycomb and it, and they'll get as big as the void allows, but yellow jackets, that's really where it's at as far as Ooh. big nests. And I've shown you pictures of nests before. Yeah. Um, we did one in the Ocala National Forest. It was a perennial nest that had been there for years and went undisturbed. It was probably about the size of a Volkswagen bus, you know, like wow. an old fashioned VW bus. Yeah. And we set tripods up around it with cameras and took a weed whacker to it just to show you what would happen if you were bush hogging a field or, wow. you know, cutting brush back along your house and yeah. the sky turns black. They're stinging the cameras. There's venom dripping down the lens of the camera. It's pretty intense. Wow. So that's actually on our YouTube channel or all Florida bee removal. Uh, YouTube channel, also on our website, allfloridabeeremoval.com. That'd be interesting like to, to see. Yeah. yeah, allfloridabeeremoval.com. Sure. And we also wow. have, of course, insectiq.com, and all of that can redirect you to that site as well. Yeah, check it out. That's an interesting video. So yeah. so literally just, they, they, you had the white suit on, the big white suit? Two suits. What, double them Two up. Two suits and some duct tape, and then... Because uh, you knew they were just going to come with fury. Still stung, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, well, now I want to go see it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's an interesting video, man. So the whole the whole white suit was turned 
yeah. black with well, all these guys. That, I mean, you have them all over you and wearing big, thick rubber gloves. Um, the, your typical beekeeper gloves are not thick enough to keep yellow jackets from stinging you. Their wow. stingers are really like hypodermic needles and they can sting you over and over again. Wow. Unlike a honeybee that stings you once and then basically dies from stinging you, their whole abdomen rips out with the stinger. Right. So uh, there's a big difference. And, and typically yellow jackets are much more aggressive and they'll look for any little weakness in your suit to sting you. You get stung often um, around the ankles, around your, your arms. Uh, if they get up underneath your bee suit and your face and your ears and your nose, just another day. That'd of work. be the worst. That'd yeah. be the worst getting in your face. Just another day of work. And you so. did a church just a couple of weeks ago down in St. Pete, wasn't it? Right. Actually, I got some pictures with me today yeah. um, about the church. And we went out to do a honeybee removal. It was a huge colony in the roof of a hundred year old church in downtown St. Pete. Yeah. And tried to go at it a couple different ways and uh, really had to, to get an 80 foot lift and tackle it by taking the roof off. So wow, it's a yeah. cool story. We'll show those pictures when we come back. If you're not uh, tuned in on WeBeam TV or our website, you can see the show live streaming from there as well. So uh, stay with us right here, Consumer Quarterback Show. More from our expert contributors, Jay Smith in the house, Connor Keller, and our feel good story. Couple returned diaper bag filled with family's life savings right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you right after this short, short break. Hey, this is Grant Cardone, and you're listening to Consumer Quarterback Show, hosted by my friend Brandon Rhymes. Do not touch that dial. I'll come right through the radio and grab your throat. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com. Hi, I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 U.S. Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair, and Holox is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at Hi, my name is Joe Staltieri. I'm one of the owners of Complete Care Systems. At Complete Care Systems, we do carpet cleaning, upholstery cleaning, tile and grout cleaning, tile and grout sealing, wood floor and laminate floor deep cleaning, as well as stripping and waxing of linoleum and vinyl floors and a whole lot more. We also run daily deals and special, which you can find at CompleteCareSystems.com or simply call Trisha up at 727-364-364. 5158 and she'll answer all your questions and give you over the phone free estimates or she'll send me out to your home or office to give you an on-site free estimate. At Complete Care Systems, we don't cut corners, we clean them. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. 
All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here. I'm your host of the show and a top real estate agent in the Tampa Bay market. Top 1% realtor nationwide. Real excited about a lot of the growth in our new alliance. Uh, we merged with Keller Williams Realty, the number one real estate company in the world. Huge advantages, huge upside when it comes to that. So we'll uh, be talking more about that. Uh, we got events coming up as well. February 28th is our next buyer seller seminar. Uh, save the date. Uh, maybe we'll have these two gentlemen speak at that event if they could make it uh, as well. We've got Jay Smith, Ace Snoop Inspection in Studio, Connor Keller, Insect IQ. Uh, so save the date. That's our next uh, seminar coming up as well on February 28th. So you got a little time, but mark that in your calendar. Uh, it's going to be over at Cox Media Group, uh, 1025 The Bone Studio, the Performance Theater in there. Uh, we're doing another uh, event. We got uh, something like eight events planned before the uh, in the first quarter. So a lot of cool stuff coming up. Uh, Bill Maher Beach Resort, the official uh, hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show is the Bill Maher Beach Resort over on beautiful Treasure Island. And we just had a great weekend down there, went and hung out and uh, checked it out. It was interesting. The sanding ovations are still there. Those sand castles are mm -hmm. still up. Uh, pretty cool, man, that they do all this really cool artwork. I think there was something like 10 uh, different uh, when, you know, when was that event? I mean, they've been there, Man, down there for a while. Though. Been there a while, and I'm surprised they were in <laughs> decent condition. Isn't, isn't, isn't it November? It was probably November. Yeah, wow. it's been six or eight weeks at least. Uh, but I was surprised they were up on the beach there still. And, and uh, you know, you can see they got beat up by the rain a little bit. Sure. But uh, really cool. Bill Maher Beach Resort, Treasure Island. They got the nice little um, walkway now that, that uh, you know, bike path, walk path, jog, jog walk. Mm -hmm. You got Publix on one end, you know, so it's great to go hang out. Bill Maher Beach Resort, you got two pools on site. Uh, you've got Sloppy Joe's Restaurant, excellent food, and some pretty cool bar scenes around there if you want to uh, hang out or uh, just walk the beach. Say hello to Clyde Smith. He's a general manager over there at Bill Maher Beach Resort on Gulf Boulevard. Let him know that the real estate quarterback sent you. And take him up on those special offers and incentives just by mentioning your fan of the Consumer Quarterback Show. And a couple of hot listings here, 4212 Thistle Terrace Place in Valrico. This is a great property. River Hills Country Club, gated community, uh, properties reduced, owners motivated. I think he's wanting about 420 for this, 420,000. Four bedrooms, two full baths. He had a half bath, three car garage. And what's awesome about this is he's got 26 or 28 different solar panels on the top of the roof. Um, so this is a net positive energy home, zero energy, net mm -hmm. positive home. Maybe we'll talk a little bit about that as well uh, here in the next segment coming up. But uh, 4212 Thistle Terrace Place in Valrico, hot real estate property. And I got a beautiful property in South Tampa, 4613 South Matanzas Avenue, a local celebrity in Beckles' home, him and his wife. Four bedrooms, three full baths, get a half bath as well, 30. 300 square foot heated, uh, $729,000. And the cool thing is you're just a quick walk to Bayshore Boulevard and enjoying all that South Tampa has to offer. Uh, check out PlatinumMVPRealty.com for all of our beautiful real estate listings. PlatinumMVPRealty.com. Somewhere, somewhere, sunny. All right, so we're back here in the studio. We got Jay Smith, the Snoop Dogg in the house, A Snoop Inspections, and we also have Connor Keller, InsectIQ.com. Uh, he's got the honeybee removal, all Florida honeybee removal as well, and uh, some good stuff here. So, so I like that idea. We kind of stumbled onto solar there. So, how have have you seen solar being used, Jay, uh, in these home inspections that you're doing? No, it's not. It's not huge yet. I mean, it, it's coming about. You're seeing the wave working its way through. And, and honestly, I, I'll have to learn a little bit more about the solar yeah. and how it's working and things to look for because the systems are, have really been changing the last few years. Um, I'm working on sitting down with some of the solar contractors in the area just to make sure, you know, check out what they're doing and more information they can give me. Yeah. Yeah, we got David Ringo, 3D Solar. He's our expert contributor uh, in the solar space. But uh, the gentleman that owns his home, uh, the home I was listening on, Thistle Terrace, uh, I was having a conversation with him, and he said, uh, you know, he's got 26 solar panels. He's got a net positive on the uh, production of um, – and, he, and he, he pulls up on his big screen computer. He showed me. He said – you know, it's interesting. I can see on a cloudy day that I'm still producing uh, my electricity, but not quite at the speed that I would on a bright and sunny day. Yeah, makes so, the, a so the winter versus the spring and the in the summer. And he's he he drives a Tesla. So he's like, Brandon, I don't fill up. I don't pay for gas. I don't pay for fuel. Uh, but the one drawback was interesting because I was, you know, I think about a Tesla. You know, maybe at some point I'd like to buy one. Uh, he talked about when he was driving, he had a long road trip that he had to go back to his other home. And he said it took him forever to get home because he had to stop and power that thing, recharge the Tesla. It takes like an hour and whatever minutes to recharge it every so often. He said it took him forever. Right. But that charging station. 
It doesn't yeah. matter. Go ahead. Sorry. Get, yeah, well, you got to yeah. find a charging station. You got to get on the if iPhone. If you just plug and... it into the wall, it's like 24 hours. But Yeah, if you do it at home, right. right, it'll take overnight. But then they have these super speed. So really, you know, how much of an inconvenience is that, especially if you're running from a hurricane or something? Oh, it'd be a huge. But I think even some of the newer technology, and, you know, we're talking about solar, that the rate of how fast they're charging is a lot different now. Right. That the newer models, it's get, it's changing. I mean, it's changing so quick. You can't even keep up with it. And I think all the cars, whether it's a Tesla or one of the one of the other major Porsche. brands, whether it's a Honda or a Chevy or whatever. Even any, GM and Ford. Yeah, yeah I mean, the electric cars different. that are coming out are going to be charging in 20 minutes. I mean, you're going to stop and, you know, grab a drink and use the restroom and you're going to charge your car in the amount of time it took you to do all of that. Well, that, that's where we need to get to because, you know, if, I, if I'm in a position where I'm trying to escape, you know, a hurricane or, or whatever it might be, I know that's an extreme example. Uh, but, you know, I don't want to sit there and wait. <laughs> I want to get out in front of that traffic, you know? Well, I think those, there's definitely going to be a transition period where families are going to have one of each. You're still going to have a combustible yeah. engine vehicle and a, uh, you know, electric car is, is on the way. And that's where it's coming. And you're seeing it in new construction. I, I've seen the new condos in downtown St. Pete where they're actually putting charging stations at every parking spot because of this. At yes. the malls. Yes. See a lot of the that. States. So. I tell you what, if a hurricane's coming in, I still want my F-250 Super Duty to take out of here. So yeah. you can keep your electric car if the proverbial stuff hits the fan. My um, dad's like that, too. Yeah. He's got a big tank in the back, you know, with extra 250 gallons, whatever they hold. I don't know what they hold. But, uh, you know, don't have to stop for oh, you know, yeah. three or four or five you states. Up you know? and go. 500 yeah. miles Yeah, a tank of gas. Of course, it's a 30-gallon tank. But Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. So with solar, you know, the other thing I think that's maybe holding some people back is that, you know, it's just like the laptop, you know, the laptop from three years ago is a lot less powerful than the laptop from today, you know? Well, I, I think they've been fine tuning the panels a lot. Um, I think the next big thing is, you know, partially where they're storing the extra energy when you're a net positive on yes. things. Um, if your uh, electric company's not set up to buy it back from you, do you want to save that for nighttime? Instead right. of having, you know, you wear out whatever you've got. Now you're not producing the energy because the sun's not out. Yep. That you save that and you can actually keep going through the evening. Yeah. And I had one previous show partner, you know, this was two or three years ago. He claimed that the 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 best way or the only way, one of the ways that he would use it is just strictly to, to heat pools. And I just thought that was just kind of limited, but he would, he would just claim that, it, you know, that was the best, most efficient way is to heat pools. You know, you're running it through the piping and I guess it's heating up somewhat but yeah it's interesting when you look at the way that it applies but um you know so many applications in in tampa and i think one of the biggest things as well is that it comes down to a political and a um you know a, a standpoint from where the government's allowing it yes. you know, and, and how and, they're incentivizing. well not not just the government your hoas yes the whole nine yards yep. depending on where your house is facing in the neighborhood they'll say you can have the panels on the back of your house but if your back of the house isn't the best exposure for the panels, like, well, I bought on the wrong side of the street. Yeah. I need to be on the other side yeah. of the street to get the maximum value out of it. True. Absolutely. I envision in probably the next decade that this is going to be on a lot of new constructions as the technology advances. And one thing I wanted to interject, it's really advancements in the batteries, like he was right. mentioning, That's you right. know, as far as how in electric cars and across the board how quickly they charge and how long they hold the charge. That's right. Yeah. That's and kind that's of taking us. That's uh, the, the well, uh, go I, I love boating and they now have hybrid boats that are running off batteries. Wow. That you've got a diesel engine on the boat and green, green line yachts. It's made in Europe. Wow. And it's actually a hybrid boat. Interesting. Ford, Ford is coming out with hybrid or full electric uh, full size pickup trucks too. I that's read awesome. Recently. So even like heavy duty, you know, three quarter, one ton yeah. trucks. So. Yeah, that's awesome. We need we need more of that. We definitely do. You know, we have the technology. We got to protect the environment a little bit more than we are. Um, so so yeah, that's awesome stuff. So we got uh, two of the best in the industry here uh, in studio. Jay Smith, a Snoop Inspection. Uh, he's helping you on all of your home inspections, uh, making sure that the asset that you're purchasing, you're spending a lot of money on a mortgage or financing, maybe putting some cash down. Who knows? Maybe you're doing some Bitcoin, like Jason Salmon uh, talks about on the show. Uh, but you know, so you, you're you're investing in a huge asset. Jay Smith's going to help you protect that asset, understand more about how to operate uh, the different functions of the home. Uh, talked about your four point inspection as well. Connor Keller's in studio as well. And we're talking about 
you know, different ways of, again, protecting that asset, uh, everything from termite pest control. Uh, you've got the honeybee removal business that you're, you're in as well. And uh, before, I want to have you talk a little bit about, before you were talking about some of the dynamics of the business, it was interesting sure. how, you, how you talked about how uh, you brought it from this to that, where you're at now and where you're going in the future. Well, I like that. strictly talking about honeybees, you know, for the longest time, we've been a kill company. So if we go out to your house commercially or residentially, we follow the state guidelines. We're, we're killing honeybees, removing them from the structure. Um, because of public perception, though, a lot of people think that bees are protected or they're endangered. And, and the fact is they're not endangered at all. There's a lot of emotion involved in what you hear on TV, the science behind it. The fact is in, in Florida, talking in Florida, our bee populations are exploding. Right. Um, but based on public perception, uh, and we want to do the right thing, we've come up with a honeybee rescue as well. Honeybee so rescue. So one thing I want to talk about is it's our Insect IQ Honeybee Rescue. Uh, we are uh, have an agreement with the Keystone Farmers Market off of uh, Tarpon yeah. Springs Road. You're yeah, familiar with that guys. place? Yeah, they're good guys. guys. Yep. Um, some acreage out there, they're growing organic vegetables. So it made sense that we would start rescuing wild or feral colonies, take them out there, requeen them, and, and domesticate them and start new honeybee colonies. We're up to about 12 colonies out there. It's open to the public. Wow. Anybody can go by and look, uh, but we offer both um eradication and live removals now that's cool i think so many yeah. people more are are looking for that green exactly. uh, company that company that's embracing the green technologies and embracing that uh, i love that story that's awesome and, and that is a really cool farmer's market out there it is. Uh, my daughter and i go through there sometimes as we're coming from uh lake keystone road is it look East, for our bees on the back of the property we'll go check yeah, it out next time i'll take her by all right stay with us right here on the consumer quarterback show when we come back more from our expert contributors and we have our feel good story of the day couple returns diaper bag filled with family's life savings and find out about these good samaritans right here on the consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com this is work done and you're listening to the real estate quarterback show hosted by my man brandon rhymes to get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com. I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. Listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at consumerqb.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813 670 7372. All right. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here. I'm your host of the Consumer Quarterback Show. I'm a top listing agent here in Tampa Bay. 
and uh, owner of the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams. Just recently uh, moved our team and brokerage over to the Keller Williams team. Real excited about that. And uh, we help our sellers maximize the exposure on the sale of their real estate properties. And we got some hot property listings we'll talk about. Uh, also excited about the American Dream television show. Uh, this is another show that we're involved with on uh, Sunday morning. CBS broadcasts locally on CBS, Apple TV, Amazon TV, Roku as well. And the American Dream has an, delivers an empowering message uh, to all of Tampa Bay and across the United States, over 40 million households that we're in now. And we're real excited about that as well. So uh, in studio today, we got Jay Smith, A Snoop Inspections uh, in the house. we got Connor Keller, Insect IQ, and All Florida Honeybee Removal as well. And I want to give a shout out to WholeBodyFuel.com, the official meal delivery service of the Consumer Quarterback Show is WholeBodyFuel.com. I love it. Every week I get a new uh, delivery of these awesome meals delivered, organic, convenient, healthy food delivered directly to your home or office. And what else do you have in this world if you don't have your health? right so i package these meals up bring them with me wherever i'm at at radio station or if i'm on a road one day carry these meals with me in my vehicle and it keeps me from popping into those fast food stores that we know are not good for us in most cases wholebodyfuel.com let them know the real estate quarterback sent you take them up on special offers and incentive just by mentioning that you're a fan of the consumer quarterback show all right, so we got a hot property here, 9511 Antilles Drive in Seminole. This property, it's gorgeous. It's a half acre. It's in that 33776, very popular area of Seminole and Pinellas County. And just across the bridge as you're on the beaches in uh, beautiful South Pinellas County, David Weekly Home, nearly half an acre. Uh, produce, the uh, property has been reduced, $578,000, four bedrooms, three full bath. You got a half bath as well. Uh, just a beautiful property. Great opportunity. Compliments of Platinum, MVPRealty.com. Uh, 103 South Havana Avenue in South Tampa with another beautiful property, 33609, five bedrooms, three bath. Uh, this is a charming uh, South Tampa historic home. Uh, with five bedrooms, three bath, over 2,500 square feet, just reduced as well. The owner's motivated, $499,000. Plant High School District, one of the most sought after school district in all of Tampa Bay. Another hot real estate property here, compliments of Platinum, MVPRealty.com. All right, so uh, Connor, I believe you wanted to add something. We had a little bit of talk about solar today, and you were mentioning some of the environmental impacts with the birds. Well, just in general, the, some of the negative uh, side of installing solar panels to say on your roof or on your property, it, it's a prime habitat or conducive condition for pigeons, um, other fowl, other birds. They, they love that shelter and those areas, especially on roofs. So we do a lot of work where we'll go out and remove the pigeon or other bird activity and then install devices to either repel or exclude that activity from those areas because the birds are going to damage the panels their droppings damage your roof. And, and so you're actually installing conducive conditions for that that can contribute to that problem. So it's just something yeah. you should be aware of. And, and you can do preventative measures to keep this from happening. Yeah, it's important to do that. And uh, you see more and more of the different, uh, uh, you know, the ones that look like the owl up there, I guess they're scared of the owls and they get, make them now where the heads turn. Right, it's just a deterrent. You yeah. know, that's a predatory. I saw something where they have actual um, drone eagle or birds of prey that they're using at airports now. Yeah. Which that technology is just advancing. It's pretty pretty cool. But they yeah. fly these things or these bird mimic uh, predatory birds and scare the flocks off. Yeah. But there's all sorts of stuff like that happening even in my industry. So it's pretty yeah, they cool. just they just shut down one of the airports. I think it was London. One it was a Heathrow. Yeah, some, I think that's the airport they were talking about. Yeah. So pretty interesting new technology. Technology's great, man. And you brought some pictures for us today? Is I did. Right? I don't know if they're up, but it's just some pictures of different okay. jobs. It's a huge project I've been working at uh, on in St. Pete. Basically, okay. uh, this is the church where we removed the honeybees from the ceiling of the sanctuary. Okay. We went through the roof, but in the process, we found that they have a, a severe pigeon infestation. Mm. And the pictures we were just looking at, uh, basically, of dead pigeons in the belfry, um, that that's a biohazard, that environmental, their droppings, the decaying uh, bodies, the feathers, all of that can make you really sick in yeah. layman's terms. There's all sorts of diseases. And so all of this was coming down into the sanctuary and they're holding Sunday service. And there those, it is right yeah, there. That's the honeybees that we cut out. That's so, the honeybees. Okay. Yeah, the bees were entering the roof wow. and we had to take the roof off. You can see some of the honeycomb remaining there. All of that's pulled out, clean, sanitized. We neutralized the pheromones. And then used a roofer, of course, to repair the roof. Everything's good as new. Now you could almost see the honey dripping off of those. Oh things. yeah, definitely. Now that, is that edible honey? 
Well, the problem is it is, but it's kind of, I use the analogy, it'd be like walking by and seeing a perfectly good Subway sandwich in the dumpster. It's wrapped up, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's fresh, yeah. but would you pick that up out of the dumpster and eat it? Right. Probably not. Yeah. So, Cause you never know the birds and right. it's still a food and there's still foodborne illness. You know, that's why you don't give honey to infants under two years of age. You can get botulism. There's other things that um, are associated with honey, although it's nature's perfect food and it doesn't uh, break down or rot in any way. Right. You can still get bacteria and other uh, parasites in the honey. And yeah, stuff. yeah, it's in, it's it's interesting when you look at that. And uh, all right, let's get let's jump into our feel good story of the day. Every day we're telling you something positive here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, going against the negativity in the mainstream media. Uh, so uh, tell me something good here. Tell me something good. All right, so we've got a couple returned diaper bag filled with family's life savings. Uh, two good Samaritans found a diaper bag filled with cash and returned it to its rightful owner. A Vietnamese man who was attending college in Southern California and asked not to be named uh, thought he had lost his life savings when he, his wife, and daughter visited the Christmas play in Long Beach and left their bag, left without their bag after stopping for a photo. The backpack contained his family's passports and $5,000 in cash. Uh, later that night, Gabriel Ruiz and Gabriel uh, took a picture of the same spot they found the bag. The pair waited and waited a while to see uh, who would come and claim it. But when no one picked it up, they looked outside. They looked inside for clues. We saw the wallet, opened it up, and there was just a ton of money in there, said Ruiz. Uh, the next morning, they found a secret compartment in the bag that had contact details. They called the number and returned the bag to its delighted owner. Oh, my God. I was still shaking, the Vietnamese man said. Uh, he said, you just saved my life. Can I have a hug please <laughs> so interesting story man you know leaving that money laying around and somebody returned that what's the chances in that you know 50 50 uh, uh, is it that high <laughs> i don't know what, what would you say yeah. you'd like to believe in humanity and you that would. everybody would return that you um, would yeah kind of comes around goes around too that's so. right exactly the karma side of things right so uh, all right we got about three minutes left here let's jump into our lightning round the lightning round i am so good at all right, My major top tips, nuggets of advice, parting words of wisdom, Jay Smith, the Snoop Dogg, a Snoop inspection. Always get your property inspected, always. And I mean, people can even call us for later today. You already own the house and you're still not sure about some things around the house. Call us in. Snowbirds, they're, they're back in town right now. They'll be leaving in a couple of months. They may not be sure about the house that's around them. They don't want to get on the roof. Call us. We'll take care of it important very important to get that done and jay smith actually walks you through the property is going to work uh, with you to understand the components of the home and how to operate those components because you know nowadays with the different technology the different pieces that you're seeing uh, it is confusing especially for first-time buyers absolutely all right we got connor keller as well insect iq well you know going on the premise of helping people out uh, of course you can call me anytime for a free inspection and along with what jay said uh should have your home inspected we'll come out and do a termite inspection yeah free of charge if it's a wdo inspection you need it for the real estate transaction that's what we charge for i also want to remind people about our uh, apiary at keystone farmers market on tarpon springs road come out take a look get involved see the honeybees we're rescuing and uh, of course, you know, anytime you call Insect IQ right now, our promotion is we're offering $100 off any new service. Just mention the Consumer Quarterback Show and we'd be happy to take care of you. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for doing that for our listeners out there. We really appreciate that. You know, we want our listeners to think about this show as the hub of your financial, your business, your health, uh, your real estate, certainly uh, your real estate wheel. You know, each one of those folks extending out, representing another one of our preferred partners, our expert contributors uh, that take time out of their uh, busy schedules to come on the show and entertain and educate. But most importantly, we want to engage with you to help you understand more about those buying decisions helping you avoid a lot of the commission-based advice that is so prevalent in our communities. We see commission uh, advice everywhere we turn. Um, so yeah, so another great show, uh, Jay Smith, A Snoop Inspections, uh, reach out to him. Uh, five counties surrounding Tampa Bay, uh, all over the place. He's doing a lot, got a great team over there. Connor Keller, uh, InsectIQ.com as well. Honey bee removal, uh, small animals, rodents, those types of removal as well. Uh, longtime friend of the program, both of you guys, we appreciate that. Uh, and we want you to go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness uh, pack up some food or clothing, hand it to that person that you see in need, uh, be a force for good in the community, do something kind for one another. And if you don't have funds to donate or, you know, this, this time of year is a great time to be involved with uh, different church groups, organizations, uh, you know, volunteer your time. You know, there's lots of ways you can go and be a mentor, uh, boy, boys and uh, girls clubs. There's different ways you can get involved. 
and of course you know do something kind it's really easy to create that random act of kindness uh, just last week handed out some food again to uh, some of the homeless folks and that that thank you that you get from them is uh, it's a heartfelt thank you and that's something that we really talk about here on the show so go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness and we'll see you next time right here on the consumer quarterback show check us out online uh, facebook.com uh, at brandon rhymes one on instagram and uh, facebook.com consumer quarterback show we'll see you next time consumerqb.com you've been listening to the consumer quarterback brandon rhymes whether it's real estate consumer or financial advice let brandon call your next play contact brandon rhymes at 813-670-7372 that's 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show, weekday afternoons at 5 on AM 1380. The Biz. Are you a real estate agent looking to take your business to the next level and supercharge your marketing? Hi, I'm Brandon Rimes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty and host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show syndicated radio and TV show talk program on iHeartRadio, 1025 The Bone, daily five o'clock drive time on 1380 The Biz, and our TV show is on WeBeam TV. We're looking for real estate agents that wanna join our team and supercharge their marketing, utilizing some of our innovative strategies. We utilize the Real Geeks platform, Facebook marketing, internet marketing, and a lot of the traditional methods as well. Postcard mailers mailed for you. Postage, signage, business cards, all paid for, by the company, aggressive real estate splits and ways to help you win in any marketplace. We need you to go out, take applications and work our plethora of leads that we're generating on a daily basis. Reach out by clicking the form below and we'd love to have a confidential interview with you.